Hi, I'm Carmen Alana Tibbetts. Welcome to the Egosia Art Studio. It is August and time for our artwork of the month. And today I have chosen the Greater Sage Grouse, which is one of our most overlooked but one of our most charismatic native birds. This is a fantastic little fellow and I think that you will enjoy him a lot. So I'm going to take a minute and put him up under the lights so we can do his close-up. We'll be right back. The cloth figure is suspended from a filament line and you may be able to see it a little bit on the back of the neck through here. And it gives him a little bit of a wobble as he moves around, but this is the best way that I've found to give you a full view around. This is an interesting figure because he's made from about 10 different fabrics, which is kind of unusual to use so many. But I did have to use a lot to get the appropriate colors and patterns that replicate the markings on the real bird. And I'm pretty pleased with how this guy turned out. So he actually has a little vial of sagebrush pinned to his scarf in the front and that is sagebrush from Wyoming and it's dried. And then he has a little bit of a dangle on the vial just to give it some interest. He has a red and black beetle at his waist and he's kind of protecting it uh, with his right hand. He's a very expressive bird and I'm pretty pleased with him. His beak is made from polymer clay and the rest of him is mostly wool and he is actually weighted with some pennies so he has some heft to him. I'm going to turn him just a little bit so we can turn around. He has his hanging loops on the back so you can hang him on the wall if you want to or if you want him sitting or displayed on a stand those loops just tack right into the back of his jacket so you don't have to look at him all the time. So he is a very dynamic fellow. He has jointed shoulders, hips, and knees and of course there are wires in his fingers so you can change his pose and gesture just a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed looking at our artwork of the month and he's on Etsy so if you would like to see some more photos, know more about him, go ahead and take a look at the website. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.